In Alexa 4, uh, 13, we started working on the uh, input tab page. And specifically, we created the uh, field to input author into the uh, audio books table. In Alexa 14, we want to input type. And type is a relational database. It's actually a database of AB type or a table of AB type where we want to input the code value into the audiobooks table, not the symbolic type, which is often its own table. So in order to do that, we, we're going to resort to an uh, entirely different type of control than we've used so far. We're going to create a data source and then create a bound control of type uh, drop down list box. When we initially create the data source, it'll create a hidden object called a data set, which is like a uh, copy of the database that's internal to the C program. And we can actually disconnect from the main database and just work in this local copy of the database, the data set. And then when we create the bound control, we're going to create two more hidden objects, the binding source and the table adapter. And in fact, we're going to have to edit the table adapter, the query in the table adapter, as time goes on. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here's our input tab with our initial input of the author field. And we want to go up to the data menu item and say add new data source and the data source type we want to add is database which is already selected so we'll just click next and then we want to click the button that says new connection since we're creating a new data source and the provider of the, the data source is Microsoft SQL Server or SQL client for short and then the server name is also the same name as the computer, which is Rose. And we want to use SQL Server authentication. So we'll use the uh, user name and password we created with limited uh, security information. It can only access the tables we want to access for this specific program. And we click Save the Password. And then we select the Collections Database which is in fact the only database is used access. And we click test connection and it says test connection succeeded. Yay! So now we've created our data source or almost have created it. We still need to make one selection. We need to say yes include sensitive data in the connection string. And this will generate a connection string. And my convention with connection strings as I always uh, select them and copy them to the clipboard and then I copy that information into a note file because the connection string really is the secret words ADO.net needs in order to connect to the database from a C uh, sharp program so it's invaluable information I'm just copying it to a clipboard in this case to show you the technique and then we click next and I'm suggesting collection connection string as the connection string name and that's fine in fact it's kind of rhythmic and then the database objects we want are the four tables that are involved in the audio books, the main table of audio books and then relational uh, parent tables. So we click finish and that should create our collection data set. The first of the three hidden objects we need to do what we want to do. And now we drag over our combo box, line it up with the uh, combo box for selecting frequent authors stretch it out a bit
I'm going to give it the name uh, CBX for higher end location combo box and types. And now we want to change the drop down style. We want it to be read only. We don't want the user to be able to enter information in the text box portion. So we change the drop down style to drop down list rather than drop down. Since drop down list is read only and drop down isn't. We click on the uh, common uh, tasks and select use bound data items. Select other data sources, project data sources, and collection data set, the collection data set we created. And then select AB type because that's the only table we're interested in for this control. And for the display member, we want to select type, the meaningful type to the user. But for the value member, we want to select type code. So this does the relational translation for us of taking a symbolic type and translating it into a code value to save in the audiobooks table exactly what we want. When we run it, it looks pretty good. It's got all the types, but they're in the order we put them in in the database, which is hard for the user to use. He's going to want things in alphabetical order. In fact, it might cause psychological damage, as I'm subconsciously showing with that selection. So we go, here's our three objects we created, the data set, the binding source, and the table adapter. And the one of these three we need to edit is the table adapter. So we click on the common task pop-up and go to edit queries and data set designer. And the query we want to edit is the fill comma get data. So we right click and click on configure. And there we see the query which doesn't have an order clause. So we click on query builder and go to uh, field and select a sort type of ascending from s lowest to highest. And there we see our two types in the query builder and select OK or two fields. And now we see that it does have the order clause exactly what we wanted. So click finish to add this modification to the table adapter and we run it again. Well actually first we want to close the XSD file on the data set save the changes. And now when we run it to test it, they, uh, they are indeed in alphabetical order. So we're avoiding the psychological damage. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and until Alexa 15, remember to